It will take a turn now. We've all seen Lena Dunham's photos in Vogue. She, of course, is known for writing provocative storylines on her HBO show Girls. But it's this series of new photos that have her at the center of some controversy this morning. And NBC's Katie Tour has been following that. Katie, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. In comparison to most fashion retouches, this was pretty minor. Just a little slimming here, a smoothing there, and a cover-up along the chest. But when it's the body-positive Lena Dunham, some are saying there's a disconnect. Lena Dunham certainly looks beautiful, suggestively perched on the edge of a bathtub for her Vogue photo shoot. But does she look like Lena Dunham? Within two hours of posting a $10,000 reward for the unretouched Vogue images, the website Jezebel got what looked to be their answer. They lengthened her legs, they slenderized her neck, they brought her jaw in. The problem, according to Jezebel, is that Dunham is the poster girl for being real. On her HBO show Girls, she not only embraces, but flaunts her quote-unquote imperfections. But Vogue takes her and still hides these perceived imperfections that we already knew were there. It doesn't make a lot of sense. For years now, Jezebel has made a mission of outing photoshopped fashion images. Most famously, Faith Hill's 2007 Red Book cover, where they counted 11 retouches, like a skinnier arm, waist, and face. Since then, the fashion industry as a whole has been criticized for its unrealistic portrayal of women. In just 37 seconds, this YouTube video shows how much Photoshop can alter appearances. Not to mention recent covers where Elle put Melissa McCarthy under a coat and showed just a portrait of Mindy Kaling, while featuring other slimmer starlets full body. Vogue editor Anna Wintour didn't respond directly to the Dunham criticism, but wrote in part, Lena is a strong, confident woman who charts her own path, and that, to my mind, makes her an inspiring role model and the perfect cover for our February issue. Lena, right here, please. As for Dunham herself, she says she's not sure what all the fuss is about, telling Slate France, I haven't been keeping track of all the reactions, but I know some people have been very angry about the cover, and that confuses me a little. I don't understand why, Photoshop or no, having a woman who is different than the typical Vogue cover girl could be a bad thing. Now, Jezebel itself is coming under fire. Some are calling the magazine's bounty of $10,000 for the original photos a witch hunt. And considering how minor the changes were, they were trying to create a controversy where there really wasn't one. Savannah? All right, Katie Chur, thank you so much. Well, let's turn to Steve Adubato. He's a media analyst and author of You Are the Brand. And Robin Silverman, who is a body image expert. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, Savannah. Gosh, it seems like we see these Photoshopping controversies all the time. There's outrage and then outrage about the outrage. Yeah. Where do you come <laughs> down on this, Steve? I mean, do you think Vogue deserves scorn for Photoshopping these, or does it deserve credit for putting a real woman on the cover? Well, it goes both ways, but here's the thing. You have two brands, Savannah, who are, they're like smashing into each other. One brand, you got Lena Dunham who says, look, be yourself, you know, just embrace your body the way it is. But the problem is that's not what Vogue is. Vogue is a magazine that says, look, you want to be on the cover? It's not really real. It's a fantasy. It's art. And then we Photoshop, we airbrush, we do all those things. So these two brands conflict. And the problem is when that happens, you want to be on the cover? Lena Dunham, in my view, went along with it to be on the cover. And now, I, I think she's great, but she's saying to her fans, I don't understand what all this is about. She, she does, because that's not why they love her. Is that her. fair, though? It's not like it was such a dramatic transformation that she's unrecognizable. I mean, if you look at some of the before and after pictures, yes, there's retouching, but is it really so dramatically different, Robin? I think that there's a controversy because not only do you have these photos in this magazine with this very self-assured woman, but you also know that they're photoshopped. And on the other hand, you have this website that's highlighting right. Photoshop shopping and is saying this is not right we don't want it she doesn't need it but they paid money for the photos and they dissected the photos bit by bit and it feels a little bit like possible body shaming and also feeling like maybe we're doing more harm than good the other thing is first of all she looks great I've looked at both yeah. and her brand is not gonna take a hit in this way she looks great either way but I just wish that she would be up front and say look if she said, quote, if you want to see what I really look like, watch the series. Mm -hmm. The funny thing is this. The art to me is about they put feathers on her. She had a pigeon thing. That's great. But when they shaved down her, her jaw and they made her hips, that's not art. That's really saying we don't like the way you look and we're going to change it for the cover of Vogue. 
that's fashion. That's not Lena Dunham's brand, in my opinion. Either way, she's still a star. You know, there was a time, Robin, when people didn't necessarily know about photoshopping. They weren't aware of how much retouching was done and how these supermodels, maybe they didn't really look like these impossible to get images. Now we do know about mm -hmm. it. And aren't people who are buying a magazine like Vogue partly buying the fantasy? It's, I mean, they're not yeah. buying a, a, a nature magazine or I something with absolutely saying. realistic photos. I absolutely photos. see what you're saying. But the studies keep showing us that the more women and girls see these images that are perfect, the more body shaming we do, right. yeah. the more body bullying, as I call it when I'm presenting an audience, or the more like that kind of thing that they do. And we don't want them to look into, at themselves and say, I'm not good enough, and if Lena Dunham isn't good enough, how right. am I ever going to be good enough? And she's the role model for everyone. Exactly. It's true, and those are such powerful images, too. That's right. Good to have a conversation with you both, Steve and Robin. Great Thank to be you. here. We send it over to Carson.